What is going on guys? DBG here and today we're going to be talking about something in my team and I'm going to be talking about it in a way that I'm like and the way I'm going to talk about this is like it's content that if the game was in a better spot would be good content but because the game is in such a bad um, spot it is awful content. It is absolutely absolutely awful content and it is kind of it's one of those things where specific you can't look at content on an individual basis anymore because of the totality of the mode and it's actually this is the first time that i've ever had to say this because throughout the year throughout the years i've always said we can look at content on an individual um basis but we actually can't like we actually can't look at this on an individual basis because of just how the one the day that it happened and two just the overall like if you guys don't remember last year 2k gave us nfl the day lebron broke the scoring record or maybe the day after 2k lebron broke the scoring record we got nfl players 2k gave us nfl players instead of a lebron james for lebron breaking the scoring record and today 2k gave us a, uh, a Devin Booker card and by the way 35k VC for this Devin Booker if you're if you've grinded up that VC elsewhere it's actually based on player market stuff that's actually insane value that's insane value lads if you have the VC that is actually insanely good value but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter like this is what we're getting instead of LeBron James like 2k actually ignored it i can't believe it i cannot believe they just ignored lebron for booker and i've already talked about that in the video but like i'm gonna also talk a little bit about because you just never know maybe somebody in 2k is watching these con this content i doubt it anymore i really doubt it like I'd say back in the day, maybe they'd watch a video like this, but not anymore. God, no, not anymore. But um, I'm going to specifically talk about the reasons why this is terrible content. And it's not that it's terrible content. And this is something that if you ask me like in a like vacuum, is this bad? No. But this is now the first time where the game is in such a bad state that you cannot look at content in isolation. Like, a decent enough value VC only card has never been a problem before. It has never been a negative thing before. Like, I will say it when it's like the Tracy McGrady, a card that was free. Yeah, I'll be pissed at that. But I'm like, this is not a card that's been free. This is a card that's pretty decent value. So you would think that the arguments for this card being a good thing would outweigh the arguments against this card being a good thing. And in any other year, that would be the case. And I've, by the way, I've defended, like, content like this in the past. And I'll continue to defend pay to win because at times, because I've always said it and I'm like, I don't give a damn if a game mode's pay to win. I give a damn if a game mode is gamble to win. I don't like the fact that there are VC only cards. I hate it. The reason why I hate that there's VC only cards isn't necessarily that um, you can only buy them with real money because again you can buy this card in the player market so i'm not necessarily against this card it's that v certain vc only cards which is like michael beasley and jeremy lynn and uh, i know we got a code for lynn the reason why i hated that was because they're not available in certain countries because there are countries where vc is illegal um so that's kind of the only ethical issue i have with that and i have much less of an ethical issue with this than i do with all this crap like I don't think any my team content should be interactive with right interactive with right now. But if you are gonna do it and you want to spend money on the game, go get yourself a Devin Booker. Don't open packs. You get three packs where you're gonna get nothing, or you can get a top five point guard in the game. So it's obvious which one you should do. But don't spend money on the game in general. I don't think you should spend money on the game in general. Like it is, it's just such a bad scenario like the game is in such a bad way they're, they're ignoring the actual nba genuinely ignoring it in season two and season three or in season three and season four legitimately the breakout um the season rewind sets were some of the best sets we had 
Like, if you guys don't remember, when these came out in season three, people were hooping with their Carusos. I was going out there in TTO with Craig Porter, Jaime Haquez, Brandon Pajemski. Do you know remember the pods in the Lions budget lineups? Terrence Mann, a beast. I like Keontae George. I don't know why I said Craig Porter. I didn't use him at all. It was Keontae George. It was a baller. We had IG Jamarant. I got the same hair as Jamarant, but he shot the lights out. Cam Reddish. Man's still a hooper. And if you don't remember, we had agendas. We had agendas to go all the way up to Diamond at the start of December. Like a Diamond card to start of December was the highest tier. Did most of them suck? Yeah, but like, if you got DeJounte, De'Aaron, or Jeremy Grant, it's a pretty okay card. Especially Deontay or Jeremy Grant at the time. And you got Amethyst. In a season rewind too, the annoying thing was was that it peaked the diamonds again. And there were a lot of bad diamonds in this one. But still, you could grind them up. The problem is, is that for season rewind, you got the entire month to do the agendas. Season rewind two, you only had a couple of uh, a couple of days to do the agendas. But then, season rewind doesn't exist. Oh, you might be saying, oh, we got a Max Drews breakout card. This card sucks, man. This card sucks. Uh, did I forget to type in the locker code? Did I actually... I think I might have forgot to type in the locker code. I think I have time. I genuinely think I have time. I do need to... Expires in one week. Yeah, I can... I can get... I'm gonna type them in on the app right now. But still, like... It's just... It's just a game... It's the entirety of the game. Is like... When you ignore the real NBA, when you ignore so many obvious things, when you make it gambling only, you can release actual good content, and or not even good content, not terrible content, and people are going to hate it. There's nothing that 2K can do that people are going to enjoy unless it is the layup content. Unless it is the content that people have come to expect, not only from NBA 2K, but um, content that people have come to expect from video games in general. Like, from Ultimate Team Games. People have come to expect when something big happens in real life to get something. Like, when Messi broke the goal-scoring record, in FIFA 13, we got a card. And it's the annoying thing is that 2K used to always do it. 2K used to always do it. When Westbrook broke the triple-double record, we got a card. When, um... Like, whenever someone had a big game, we got a card for it back in the day. Heck, we were even getting our moments cards. We got free MB and free Luka. A mo six weeks ago. So, like, it's happened even this year. But now they've gone back to the worst part. You've added the worst parts of 2K23 with the worst parts of all my team games. Like, you've... You've literally met, turned 2K24 into an amalgamation of all the worst parts of every my team year. And it's just tough. It's just really, really tough to um to defend this. And I don't think that's what 2K to understand. Is that I think 2K think, oh, we can put out something that's not objectively terrible. And people are going to react well to it. And that's not the case. That's really not the case. Like, you can't react well to a completely different type of content when you ignore the content that not only people want the content that has become expected basically of a live service game like genuinely it's just it's laughable what's happened it is actually laughable what's happened because on any other day this wouldn't be complaining about that much but on the day we were meant to have gotten something for lebron anything for lebron we get nothing LeBron's ignored and we got Devin Booker. Congratulations to Devin Booker, I guess, for breaking 40,000 career points. Oh, wait, that never happened. And I don't think things are going to change. This might be like, you might be watching this video and thinking, oh, you're just complaining about, um, you're just out here complaining about anything. And to an extent, you might be right. You might be right. Like, this might be a nitpick. But the issue is, is that we can, we're we able to nitpick on things because there's no positives. When there are no positives, you're going to find negatives. And that's the thing. There are no positives to this game mode. There are actually none. And any positives to this game 
were objectively better in other years. They were just better in other years. It was easier to be no money spent in other years. You were able to get budget cards in other years. If your positives of the game are, oh, I can go and play offline and have fun, you could do that other years, but easier and better. Because the CPUs weren't Zeus, unless you spent money on the game. I don't get it, man. I just don't get what 2K are doing. I don't get why they think people aren't going to hate this.